The STO S-gate input is very useful for sourcing multiple interlocking melodies from a single oscillator. This example shows manual playing and transposition. Later we'll look at more complex sequencing options. Here we have the STO with its sine and variable outs mixed in the Optimix. Note that the sine portion of the variable out is inverted, so mixing them to unity causes phase cancellation. Sub out is being filtered by the MMG and then sent to the aux input on the Optimix. Pitch and S gate are being controlled by the pressure points, and the Optimix is sent to the Echophone for a touch of delay. The pressure points common out is also triggering channel 1 on maths. This gives us the option of using the end of rise to strike the variable wave shortly after the initial note, an octave up. Channel 1 function out to the control input gives us a nice swell leading up to the strike. Let's also strike the plain sine wave with the echophone clock out for a rhythmic bass. and a slow modulation for maths channel 4 to the MMG mode and the variable shape. Since the pressure point's CV isn't quantized, I prefer to pick more notes by transposing with Rene. Another nice gestural touch would be to allow the common pressure out to open the filter a bit. Steady voltage in the XMOD input allows gliding, as you can see on the X fundamental page here. And finally, we can do a little more interesting striking of the sine wave if we clock the woggle bug with the echophone and then strike the optimix with the random gates out. Mm -hmm. 